satellite didn't drop it off. Okay, so the first thing I wanna say is that I'm super excited that it's here. I have a really good review of this up the canyon. My neighbor has it, he raves about it. About eight months ago or so, he had told me to put in the $100 deposit to Starlink. At that point, I thought it was just something that was supposed to happen down the road. I didn't really think too much of it, and I didn't think that it was coming anytime soon. He put in his $100 deposit to Starlink and waited a few months, and it finally came. Well, after he got it, I put in my $100 deposit because I, I was frustrated with the current service I had up here in the canyon. I'm getting like three to four megs. I try to upload videos. It takes me all night to upload a video on that kind of service. We've struggled downloading movies. We've been promised getting double that speed for almost two years. So after hearing that he had a great success story, a little bit of wait time, I'm like, okay, I'm in. 500 bucks is what it costs for the equipment. And it's $100 a month. But as long as you have power to plug it in, you could be in the middle of nowhere. So after putting in my Starlink order, it said expected delivery spring, early summer. So I was like, ah, oh, man, at least I know it'll come because it came to the neighbor. Two weeks later, there it is on my doorstep, shocked. I have new editing programs that I can't even run because my internet's not fast enough. So if you guys are out in the outskirts, maybe you're living off grid, Maybe you're living not connected, but you've decided that you finally want to have a cell phone that you can run through your Wi-Fi or that you want Wi-Fi so you can watch YouTube and learn stuff. You have that option now for $500 and $100 a month, no data cap so far. So let's get into this box. So when I saw the box, I'm thinking, what well, is all the equipment in that? Because the box is only 14 and a half by 10 and a half on the top and only 24 inches tall. I'm thinking a big old satellite dish. Let's see what's in the box. You're gonna wanna lay it like this with the Starlink facing up. You have a little tape here, a little tape on the top. It's gonna open up like this. Here's how the packaging looks. Kind of a, a molded, some sort of plastic. Looks like we've got a stand. Another little piece of molded plastic to separate that. And this new Starlink version is not a circle. It's a square. Like you got a little diagram right here. How crazy is that? When it's not a circle, you can't call it a dish. What do you call it? A a squish square this must be the oh look at this it's like a wild looking modem that's it just a big old huge roll of cord this guy i heard it's about a hundred feet long the cord you also got this little must be some sort of instructions as far as setting it up realistically all you need is this worldwide ikea style of directions right here and the app on your phone. Just Wi-Fi in general. This box is small enough to stick in your trunk of your car and take it with you. And the components are extremely simple. You literally have like three things. So this thing just slides right in here and locks into place. And you could pretty much have it anywhere. You could run some screws or something or some bolts into these little holes on every single leg or they have a lot of options on other styles of mounts for rooftop, fascia edge on your roof. The other thing that I'm noticing is this plug. It's not your traditional style of Wi-Fi plug. So we're gonna have to find out if there's adapters in case you wanna run it longer than 100 feet away. So I'm super excited about this. Let's go set it up and see how fast it you is. You're gonna carry my tripod? Yeah. Okay, I'll grab this box. Okay guys, so I'm losing light. You can see, I just got home. It's really hard to get things done these days because you get off work, come home and it's dark. So gotta get this thing set up real quick. So this is our little gym building I built. I built everything. It's our little gym building. Ideally, I'd like to mount it right up here on this corner. Um, originally, this building right here held our washer and dryer 
and a refrigerator. Okay, so I put it over there in the garden. You can see it because the garden's got almost 360 sky view. You can see it right there in the middle of the garden here. Our huge garden. But look at the sky view. I mean, come on. That is a great view. No obstructions whatsoever. And for now, it's in a locked area right now, so nothing's going to go in there and knock it over. And then there's my little building I'm going to put it in right now. Eventually, hopefully, attach it up here to the side with one of them side arms. Got it going through that window right over there currently. Because what you're going to face when you get this thing is, how am I going to get the cord in the house? Do you have that doesn't plug into your existing lines? It doesn't plug into any of the other stuff running your house. It's its own cord. You can't extend the line. It comes with a hundred foot line. At this point, you can't extend the line. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have to figure out how you're gonna get your line into your house and what side of the house it's gonna be on. Okay, so you can see it right there. A little orbit around the earth. So it's sitting right here in this window. And there's the house over there. Right now, I just got it coming through the window just to get it hooked up. Uh, that way I can work out some kinks uh, about how we're gonna get it completely set up for the long term. All right, so I just plugged it in. Okay, so it just auto adjusted. I missed it because I was on my phone looking at their app, but it just went from sideways to straight up in the sky. And there we go. That's some crazy speeds compared to what I'm used to. I'm gonna go over to the house and see how it reaches over to there. That's a great example. I'm installing Creative Cloud and installing Premiere Pro Adobe on my laptop right now. This is my other laptop. I am at 50, 60% download in about six minutes. The other day when I was trying to upload this, it took two hours on my existing internet service. This will take a max of eight to 10 minutes. Super excited about this. Okay, so now we're downloading another big file, Photoshop. It's going super quick. My guess is it'll be done within five minutes. Okay, so I cannot be more ecstatic about this. In the background, you can see my little building over there. That's where it's at. And it's about 80 yards over there. And I'm still picking up 12 megs over here at the house. Super impressive. I just can't get over how cool this is. I need the internet speed for what I do. And I never thought I'd have it like this. So if you found this helpful, please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments below if you even heard of this or if you're interested in this. Also, let me know if you'd like to see some updates. I can give you guys a one month review. I can also give you more information that I find out about it. I'd like to find out if it hooks up with our mesh system that helps it bounce around between different buildings on our property, kind of extends the network. I was super excited about doing this video for y'all. If you guys like these type of tips, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you guys on the next one.